Hey guys, Crypto Dad, and today I'm going to show you how to purchase some Litecoin on Coinbase and then store it in a paper wallet. So let's get going. Okay, so uh, we're going to purchase some Litecoin today, and then I'm going to show you how to store it in a paper wallet so it's safe and secure. Uh, I'm going to explain to you how to purchase Litecoin on Coinbase, uh, which is the easiest way to purchase Litecoin uh, for the new user. Uh, but I'm going to do a little bit of a complicated step in between. I'm going to show you how to transfer the Litecoin into GDAX first before we transfer it to our paper wallet. This is going to save us money on our fees, and it's not that difficult. It's pretty straightforward. So uh, without further ado, uh, let's get going. We're going to go over here to our Coinbase. We're going to log in. Whoops. I'm going to uh, sign into Coinbase. It wants my two-step verification at the code. Okay. So here we are uh, in Coinbase. Now, uh, we want to make sure that uh, I, I want to do this as quick as possible. And uh, Litecoin, we're in good shape because Litecoin is much faster than uh, Bitcoin or Ethereum. Uh, sometimes when you buy Bitcoin or Ethereum on Coinbase, it could take a week to actually show up in the wallet, okay? And uh, so we want to do this quick and easy. Okay, so I'm gonna go over here to buy and sell. And uh, here's the trick. Uh, if you use your bank account, it still could take a couple of days for the transaction to clear, okay? So the quickest and easiest way is to use your debit card that you have linked to your Coinbase account. Now you'll notice that I have a pretty high uh, daily or weekly limit. Uh, it was built up over time. Some of you may not have a very high limit. Uh, I apologize for that. Um, <laughs> what can I say? Uh, but this is the quickest and easiest way to purchase Litecoin. So I'm going to go uh, to Litecoin, I'm going to use the debit, and I'm just going to buy uh, $25 worth of Litecoin. I'm not buying a whole lot, uh, I just want to demonstrate how this works. Okay, so we're going to buy instantly, and we're going to confirm. And you'll notice uh, we go to View Dashboard that the uh, Litecoin has appeared almost instantaneously. That's what we want, okay? Now, uh, we could transfer the Litecoin directly into our paper wallet. We're not gonna do that either because we'll incur uh, some additional fees in doing that. We already got char charged a small fee when we made the purchase, so we don't want any more fees. So the easy thing to do is go over here to GDAX. I encourage you to open a GDAX account if you have a Coinbase account. Same company, just a little bit uh, different account. Uh, it's a trading account. But you'll notice uh, when you open a GDAX account, if you have Coinbase, they sort of link together. So it's a pretty easy, safe way uh, to save yourself on some fees. So I want to go over here to Litecoin, and I want to deposit some Litecoin into my uh, Litecoin wallet on GDAX. And you'll notice here that my Coinbase account is linked. And it shows me that I have a balance in my Litecoin uh, wallet on Coinbase. And I just want to transfer that over into my GDAX. So uh, I'm just going to have to uh, type this amount in. So it's uh, 0 0.1, oops, 0.1, All right. We just want to make sure that those two match. 0.101 and uh, hit deposit and bam see now it's in there and uh, it's in GDAX and I can safely transfer that over to my paper wallet without incurring any fees okay so uh, I don't want to do this online I want to do it offline so I'm just gonna go down here to the git rub <laughs> github repository uh, over here on the Litecoin address uh, repository, I'm going to click clone or download. We'll download the zip. All right, I'm going to put it in my software folder. You can put it anywhere you want. Uh, this uh, file right here, 
I'm just going to make a folder for it called light address dot org just to keep it straight in my head I'll drop that guy in there Jeez. All right. so we'll just go into that folder there and uh, here's the folder I just downloaded I'm going to uh, use 7-zip to extract it to a folder with the same name and there we go uh, we've got an offline version of the website uh, which we can uh, generate this uh, so we can generate our Litecoin address offline. So uh, how do we go offline? Uh, we can just go to the back of the computer and unhook the uh, network cable. Uh, we can also, um, if you're uh, on a wireless uh, laptop or something, you're gonna need to uh, click here and uh, go to your wireless network and choose disconnect. You just wanna make sure that you're not connected to the internet when you do this. Uh, here you're uh, gonna see not connected. Okay, so like I said, you can disconnect it uh, manually by just pulling the, you know, disconnecting your network cable from the back of your desktop or uh, going to disconnect on your Wi Fi settings on your laptop. And once you've done that, you can go to your little uh, downloaded uh, offline uh, web page here. And uh, you'll notice here if I uh, try to launch Chrome. it's telling me there's no internet connection, okay? Uh, but so when I uh, launch this one from here, I can double click and you'll see that the page launches because we're running the offline version of it, all right? So we just move our cursor around a little bit to generate some randomness. It's gonna generate a uh, Litecoin address for us with a public and a private key any day now. <laughs> Okay, there it is. Now, you don't want to share this. What have I done here? You don't want to share this with anyone. Uh, I'm, I'm revealing it to you just as an exercise. So please don't criticize me and go, oh, you shouldn't reveal this online because I'm not going to put anything in this wallet. It's just an empty wallet that I'm creating for demonstration purposes. Okay? I'm actually going to move my Litecoin uh, somewhere else. Okay, so here you can see that uh, I've uh, generated a uh, paper wallet and it's got a uh, public address and a private key. All right, and this private key is the one that we don't want anyone else to know about or see. Okay, but this public address, uh, we can use that to uh, send our Litecoin. All right, now I'm gonna go ahead and generate uh, a different one uh, in secret. I'm gonna. I'm not gonna reveal it to you, but I am gonna generate a uh, another public address. And so uh, once I've done that, I'm going to demonstrate how you move Litecoin into it and how you check your balance. So uh, now that you have this, uh, you can print it if you like. Uh, print it out and keep a copy of it, and just manually type in that uh, private key. Now that is going to be a bit of a pain, so uh, you could also uh, just cut and paste this guy into a text file, and if you're going to do that, uh, it will make your life a bit easier, but I would recommend that you keep that uh, not on your hard drive. So uh, put it on a flash drive, and uh, from there, you know, you can pull it up and cut and cop paste it. Uh, at some point in the future when you need to access the funds of this wallet uh, but then I would also suggest that if you're going to make a copy of it like that you'll want to put it on a encrypted flash drive for added security and uh, store it in a safe place not right next to your computer so physical and digital security combined that's the way to do it now this public key or this public part of the uh, uh, encryption key for your Litecoin address. You can keep that on your desktop anywhere you want. It's not uh, it's not a security risk to keep the uh, public address around. Uh, you can store it uh, on a folder on your hard disk and use it to cut and paste uh, into uh, you know any interface where you're trying to send funds to it or you're trying to check balances. This uh, the public key is uh, 
a, not a security risk to keep around. So I would suggest doing that, putting it in a convenient place so you have access to it when you want to send funds or check your balance. I'm just going to drop it on my desktop. So we'll call this a public key. And then I can just do this paper, just so I know what it's all what it is. All right, like I said, there's no security risk in saving your public key. Got a little bit of extra there when I copy, and there it is. That's our public key. I'm going to go ahead and save that. So let's go ahead and do that. So we're going to do a withdrawal, and we're going to withdraw uh, from to a Litecoin address. Okay, I'm going to choose the max. It's not a lot. It's just a, a small amount that we can use for demonstration purposes. You're welcome to do uh, as much as you like into your paper wallet. Uh, so now we're just going to go over here to this text file that we dropped on the desktop and get that public address that we created when we created our paper wallet. And I'm going to go back over here and paste that guy right in here and so that's our destination now it also wants my two-factor authentication uh, which it should whenever I transfer any uh, coins out it wants that so I'm gonna click withdraw and there we go uh, the withdrawal has been initiated and Litecoin transactions happen pretty fast so uh, let's take that public address. Let's go over here to the Litecoin Block Explorer and paste it in. All right. Now you can see uh, the balance there in my paper wallet now is 0.101382666 Litecoin. Uh, it still says that it's unconfirmed. Don't panic when you see that. It doesn't mean that the coins aren't there yet. It just means that you can't spend them yet, okay? And we're not really trying to spend them at this point. We're just trying to store them. So uh, if you see that there's a balance that's unconfirmed, rest assured the the uh, coins are in your wallet and they will be there and they will stay there. You just can't uh, move them back out yet until they confirm. And they will. Uh, it, it shouldn't take very long. So uh, you've got a little paper wallet here, right, on a piece of paper. And you put that in a safe place and uh, you save this public address in a text file so that you can uh, transfer coins in uh, and check your balance. Uh, and that's it. That's pretty easy. So uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, I know we went through some uh, some heavy steps where we, uh, you know, we had to download the thing locally, but that is the safest and secure, most safe and secure way to store your Litecoin. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, if you liked it, give me a thumbs up. If you uh, would like to subscribe to my channel, I would uh, thoroughly enjoy that as well. When you subscribe, there's a little bell that you can click that will give you an alert anytime I post a new video. Once again, thanks for joining me. Uh, I hope to see you again.